Damn, you know, screwed up. <laughs> Consider this the first snowfall in Calgary. I forgot to park my car. Gross, this is so slippery. Like, there is no way, no way I'd even be able to get this car up the hill. I mean, it's supposed to be nice for the next few days, but still. I just don't keep track of the weather anymore. Actually, frankly, I could care less because you'll never have control of Mother Nature but you do have control of what you wear. Now I've just learned to bundle up so that nothing is exposed. I've decided we're gonna keep this thing as her winter build. Even though it was supposed to be last year's winter build, and it kind of did end up happening that way, but it was supposed to get me through winter, not be in a garage all winter. There are still a few things that I wanna do to it before letting it go, but so far, no one's really budding. And the people who have, went when I up sell it <laughs> and tell them why I've put it up for the amount of price that I did on the marketplace, they just don't understand. You know, they don't look at the Celica as that kind of vehicle. So they, like, there's tons of lowball offers, and um, yeah, I know what this is worth. So my sister didn't want it. No one's wanting to buy it off me. Super healthy engine. Um, everything works perfectly fine. The, there's heat, AC works. This is actually a decent winter car. Sweet. We still do have our old shop for th four more months and uh, I've decided that's where I'm gonna keep possibly the super I'm gonna move in and the FRS so that I can work on those throughout the winter in a comfortable heated garage and then I can actually use the other side of this garage for probably the Celica so that I at least have a daily driver that will always be heated and I don't have to worry about scraping snow and ice off every morning. This is a problem that Canadians have. I mean, I wish I lived somewhere where I can drive my car all year round, but you know, complaining never really did any good for anybody. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. What doing? What doing? Yes? Yes? This kid's favorite. Lights, please. Yeah, lights, lights. Thank you. Alright, let's play. Oh, Krillin, oh no. You got the zoomies right now. <laughs> Telling you guys, it doesn't take that long for the weather to change here in Calgary. The snow is almost all melted. Okay, we are gonna be driving the Celica. Hello. Hello. Sweet. I honestly really love driving the Celica. I don't know why I was even trying to get rid of it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that's our under tray. <laughs> oh my god. Butter. Guys, guys, I forgot my mask. And there's none in this car. Can't believe, man. Every damn time. I just. I don't go out in public much anymore, okay? Nowadays. So I just never have a mask on me. Or I never plan for these things. So hopefully this will pass. This is so ghetto. Good thing to keep in mind, what my friend taught me, walk with purpose. Hopefully people don't ask. <laughs> this, is, this is literally taping napkin to my face. That looks legit. I think it'll look a lot better if I put my hood up and they don't see the tape. Yeah, no, that's it. That looks like a mask. Walk there with me. I know a place where we can be free. There is a Success, boys! <laughs> it passed, you know? Just, uh, nowadays, no one even looks you in the face. They just assume. This could have been anything for all they care. Whatever works. <laughs> 
Yikes, what happened there? <gasps> oh no, that is not a cheap replacement. All right, so the plan is to really just give myself as much space as I humanly possibly can and move, like, I'll work in quadrants, so start from that corner and clean it up. Almost have nothing against the walls. So if it has a designated spot, I'll put the item back. If the object doesn't have one, I'll create one for it. And if I can't find a spot for it, I'll just throw it away because that is the hoarder mentality and uh, I'm pretty bad at that stuff. Well, it's not really hoarder, like for sure, it's definitely usable things, man, and stuff that I would probably end up using down the line. Okay, no, no, it's a hoarder mentality. Too much stuff everywhere. Bobby is actually gonna keep his bends here for the winter. Again, those FCs are gonna be staying for sure. If any of you guys out there know anything about the Chevy 350 small block, please let me know in the comment section. I need a lot of help, but I've decided we're gonna tackle this project, okay? It's literally just collecting dust in the back corner here. And uh, I mean, there's been a lot of interest, lots of people coming in, checking out the project, but then looking at it as too much of a project to take on. Um, you know what? I know enough, okay? Uh, all that's really missing is that custom drive shaft, which I can actually just drop the RX-7 off at some sort of fabrication shop here and they can get it done in the afternoon. And also, just gotta fire her up. I don't know if this engine's been ran since it's been put back together, but from the knowledge that I've gained, uh, from the people that have come in and out of the garage to check it out, all they say is really missing is the wiring harness, which is easy enough to get. And most of the parts from this have been bought at a shop here called Mopac. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably just buy the stuff there. It would be so sick if we can get this running. And again, this has been like a year and a half to two years of me just telling myself, we're gonna keep the RX-7, no, we're not gonna keep it, and we're gonna try and sell it. No, let's keep it. We're just gonna keep it, get it to run, uh, bring her back to her glory days, make it really look pretty, and then we'll see if we'll keep it to ourselves or sell it off for a pretty penny. We did get this thing for a pretty good price, so yeah. If we can get her to run, we can get everything on it to work properly, and even maybe get the pop-up headlights to work again. Um, it's really all it is, is putting in the time and effort. And nowadays, this isn't really all I do, okay? I have so much other things that I do behind the scenes, but, but I'm really just making excuses right now. It's cool that I document the stuff, so why not just vlog if I have things to do, you know? It's a uh, one of those situations where it's killing two birds with one stone. Just turn the camera on and live life as it is. Seriously, I do this stuff on a normal anyway, so why not do an experiment? Let's try and do the dailies for both November and December because, I mean, December is usually the daily vlogmas thing, but why not just start now? Remember guys, if you've ever wanted to learn something and you've just prolonged it because of analysis paralysis, keep this saying in mind. The earliest time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second earliest time is now. I think that's how it goes. Maybe I butchered it. Um, Google it. like I just made a really big mess. But believe it or not, this is how I get shit done, or at least get things organized. My tendency is if there's table space, I'll fill it with whatever. And then in time, progressively, it just becomes unorganized, okay? I'm selective with my words. It's not messy because I still know where everything is. Um, that's the artist speaking in me, but uh, it just looks messy to any other onlooker. But that's it, I just take whatever object, Put it right in front of me so I have no choice but to do something with it. Literally, these are in our way. I'm actually getting more ideas. I've decided to move the grid walls from there to this corner. And then if 
I have time, I'll probably Amazon like floor tiles to make this space a nice workable area for at least one car, mainly this guy. And then I'm gonna put lights on the walls, probably on the bottom of the walls as well, and then install these grids in an L shape over this work table. Hey guys, I completely forgot it was Halloween. Go on, what are you doing? Yo, I'm gonna be one of the cool houses on the block and I'm just gonna like hook up any kid that actually comes to our door tonight. Um, picked up a lot of candy um, and whatever I don't give away, I have to finish. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what they suggested, what I heard is um, just put a bunch of candies in the Ziploc bags and put it in a bowl outside to minimize interaction. Damn, that's a lot of candies for one kid. It's kind of sad that uh, the pandemic rearranged this tradition. You just don't hear kids saying trick or treat anymore. <laughs> like, turn on my lights and shit. Put that there. Oh, there's people walking. Chill. Hey, hey, chill. Hi, guys. Yo, I'm gonna hook you up, okay? You wanna say hi? Hey, this is my buddy. It's okay, go on. He's got a dog. It's him crying right now. He, he just wants to say hi. <laughs> Bye-bye, have a good night, guys. Hi. What the heck? Bro, I hooked those kids up mad core. I gave them full-size candy bars, and I just told them to take a bunch of Ziploc bags. Okay, I'll have a candy bar for myself. Dude, trick-or-treaters. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Look at all the chocolates, bro. Have some, have some. That's our sugar for the night. Yo, I'm giving them full chocolate bars. Go on. What the heck? I am now probably gonna head back to the garage so I can continue cleaning up. I wish you could just like, whoa, that actually worked. If only life were like that. Okay, now time to tackle the front room. This front room area, let me just show you guys. Kind of just storage space. That windshield, I'm actually gonna plan on framing or putting up somewhere because that's iconic. Subwoofer, I'm planning on throwing in the back of the Celica. Now that we've actually planned on keeping the Celica, there's so many things going through my mind, like things that I plan on doing to it. We're definitely gonna play around with the sound system. Uh, we're gonna install the Lambo doors on it. Uh, aftermarket steering wheel because I had a fan who gave me the aftermarket hub. Uh, that you need and it's like 250 bucks for that thing from energy. The point of the Celica is just to make it super early 2000 vibe uh, Fast and Furious style. That's it. Okay, where do we begin? I'm gonna just end this video. I know it wasn't all that exciting of a vlog, I apologize, but with anything, it's the prep that takes a little bit of effort. It might be boring, but that's what sets you up for whatever endeavor you're about to partake in to go super smoothly. And we have the space for another four or five months, so I really wanna make the most of it while it's still in our possession. Um, so I am gonna be moving in the FRS and hoping to put in some work on that during the winter. Um, but yeah, this place is clean to my satisfaction. Remember guys, it's as easy as beginning your days with an easy win. Uh, something as simple as cleaning your bed first thing in the morning so that you have something nice to go home to. Um, this is that times 30. All right guys, that's it. Good night. This video is about to end. And remember, I am going to try my best to do the daily vlogs for the next 60 days. Not just the daily vlog miss starting in December, but this is a test to myself to see if I can be disciplined enough to take YouTube seriously, since that's really what I want to do. So, you guys are going to be seeing me almost every day for the next two months. Hopefully you're okay with that. Appreciate you guys for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe if you want to get updated when new videos come out on this channel. Drop a like, leave some good vibes in the comments, and we'll catch you. There is a